What is up everyone, it is Zerks here, back with another Beast Farm Simulator video. So in this one, I'll be telling you guys what bees you should buy and in what order. So, uh, uh, we're gonna be talking about the event beast today, and yeah, uh, if you do enjoy this video or it does help you out at all, uh, make sure you drop a like and subscribe with post notice on, uh, it does, uh, help me out a lot. And make sure you join our Discord, uh, I'm really active on there, uh, and you guys can talk to me if you want, and I will be playing with a lot of fans, uh, and maybe I'll even make a video with you guys, so if you wanna be in a future video or just play with me, make sure you join it, and yeah, let's get right into it. So over here, you have a lot of event bees that you can buy with tickets, uh, so, uh, you have Puppy Bee, Photon Bee, uh, Tab Bee, bee Festive Bee, Crimson Bee, and Cobalt Bee. So I'm not gonna be talking about the Gummy Bee, uh, cause it's not for tickets, it used to be, but now you can only get it with gumdrops. But yeah, so I'll be talking about which bees you should buy first and in what, or and in what order, and how to get all of them the quickest. So first of all, I'm gonna be talking about these two bees. So in my opinion, these, uh, the Crimson and Cobalt Bees are the first bees you should buy in the whole entire game. As they're both 250 tickets each, as you can see right here so they're both 250 tickets and they're one of the best bees too as they give you an ability that when you uh if you collect it and you collect a bomb token like a red bomb token it, it can collect pollen from uh white flowers so that's really cool and uh, it'll help you in boost a lot so uh, yeah uh, these are the two main bees they're the cheapest so you can basically get two bees for the price of one uh like after that you have the tabby bee over here as you can see it's like a cat tabby cat uh so basically that is the bee you're gonna want to buy a uh, third if you bought the crimson cobalt bee first it doesn't matter what order you buy these two in uh just uh, buy any of them like whichever one you think uh, is cooler and yeah uh, they're both kind of cute and yeah so yeah you have the tab ab over here uh so uh, it's also one of the most useful bees ever it has the most conversion rate out of any other bee uh and the reason you should buy it as soon as possible too is because the tabby love ability so like so it stacks up to a thousand and it lasts forever so it never uh expires or whatever so <coughs> So yeah, and you want to start stacking that as fast as possible, as there's a bunch of useful um, buffs you can get from it, as you can see up here. And yeah, uh, it's one of the most useful bees in the whole entire game, and yeah, that's Tabby Bee. So after the Tabby Bee, you have the Photon Bee over here. So uh, it's a pretty cool bee too, it's one of my favorite bees in the whole entire game, as it's the first fan bee I ever got, don't judge me, uh, but that was like two years ago or something. The main ability of this photon bee is that there's a bunch of light beams that come from the sky. So it fires a bunch of uh, uh, like uh, beams from the sky and it collects a lot of uh, pollen. And yeah, it's a really cool bee. It's one of my favorite bees. And the more you level it up, the more uh, beams come from the sky. I think it's like two per level. And yeah, uh, so it's a really cool bee. So uh, if you have any new friends, you can show it off to them. You know, just show off the ability, like the giant beam storm. They'll be kind of jealous. I'm pretty sure. Mm, I'm pre I'm pretty sure on that. But yeah, so uh, that's the photon bee. After that, we're only left with the festive bee and the puppy bee. So puppy bee, in my opinion, is one of the most worth worthless event bees in the whole entire game, as it's really garbage. The only thing that gives is like the gift. The only thing good about it is the gifted ability. It's twenty percent. Mm. 20% bond from tokens, which is really good when you're leveling up bees, but in my opinion, it's the last bee you should get, so I'm not even gonna talk about it. So, yeah. So, it's uh, it's the cutest bee, but it's also the most garbage bee. So, yeah. It's pretty garbage. So, I, I would recommend you buy this last or you don't buy it at all until you're leveling up your bees. And until you're, like, going into endgame to level up your bees a lot. So, yeah. So, Festive Bee, it's, it's a pretty cute bee, too. Uh, uh, and yeah, you, there is two chances you could have got it for free from the bee bear quest during the, during this year's beastmas quest and last year's beastmas quest. So yeah, if you completed them and you already had the fast bee, you get 500 tickets instead. But if you didn't have the fast bee, then you only get, <clears throat> and then you only get the fast bee egg. <clears throat> but right now it's in, right now it's in the shop for 500 tickets. And yeah, 
So it's a pretty cool bee. Uh, it, there's the ability where it spawns presents and you uh, and basically everyone can share it with you. Basically, you can share it with everyone. Uh, and yeah, so you get like ro royal jellies, uh, some like treats and stuff. So it's pretty cool. But the main uh, purpose of the ability is uh, you get 100% instant conversion for like 10 seconds. So if you're boosting, or if so if you're doing a boost. Uh, and uh, you get the a token, then you're gonna make uh, so much more honey because you get like 100% instant conversion for like uh, for like uh, 10 seconds or like five seconds or something. But it's adds up, trust me. So it's uh, also a really good bee, but it doesn't come on top like the tabby bee and the crimson cobalt bees. But yeah, basically this is uh, these are the bees that you should buy and in what order. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you drop a like on it. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, peace.